Wales, Matt Seamark from Winner Manly is the competition's leading point scorer by only four points. And we are underway. Will it be the Tigers' day this afternoon? If they win, they finish in third place on the Intrust Super Cup ladder. Field. That's one of the strengths of the Tigers in recent times, just a roll on their forwards have been getting. And on the back of that, Walker combines with Hogan. He's in the clear. He kicks the back rower. And back there trying to clean it up. I think they've dived on it and scored here, the Tigers. It looked messy, but it yields four points. Can't stop laughing. <laughs> Here's Phil Dennis. Out to Cronin. They might score. Hogan tries to make the tackle and does well on Faust. Good desperation, Dane Hogan. Well, there's no laughing matter now because it's only 6 0. Oh. And now it's 6 4. Lemberg goes over. And that's the serious side of that inept refereeing. Capra's Mackay 36, Sunshine Coast 6. And Wynnum 26. Beat the Northern Pride 16. Get that in here, says Leon Panapa. Butterfield in the headgear accounted for him. And now Dennis. Another one from Panapa on the smaller Dennis. They force a mistake once more. Well, He's a wrecking ball in oh. defence at the moment, Panapa. And also, it's the runners outside, Phil Dennis. Don't do him any favours here. But Panapa comes from the inside. <laughs> inside out. Panapa goes for a run. It ends just short of the halfway. Butterfield. Gives it away to Hogan. Good footwork from Hogan. Back to Walker. Walker dances himself. He introduces Joas. Joas gets the pass on the outside to Newman. They turn it on the Tigers. Oh, what a cracker. Inside this vital five minute period before the break. It's beautiful the work that he did. Ben Cronin was at, at marker. And Cody Walker sized the situation up beautifully. He committed to Ben Cronin. And then the work of the left-hand side attack, which all afternoon they've been creating yeah, small half-opportunities for him, for themselves. Both sides, stay behind. Grant Geese, he loves a short side. Geese, and he goes to Glassby. Glassby hit it at speed. Glassby throws it back to Junior Sal. They're going to do it again, the Tigers. Home goes Junior Sal. <laughs> On the field, big Junior Sal just pushing off Ben Thorburn. But the, the line that he ran, Tim Glasby getting one-on-one -on -one was a beautiful line. And awards putting this to bed here, the Tigers, if they can score. Out to Walker, same play, Joas. Joas goes for the line, he'll get there. The fullback's over. He showed great speed running onto that Jack Joas, and it's 20 points to six. It's a long way back here for the Magpies. Three metres short of the goal line, Geese plays it. Out to Tim Glasby. He'll be hard to stop here, Glasby. They won't stop him from close range. And after scoring a try for the Melbourne Storm in the NRL last week, he comes back to Langlands Park and gets the same result. Well, he's hard. You put in for the club leading into the following se the, the season, the next season. Hogan over to Newman. Down the left, they come again. This time the pass sticks to Seve, but he has no support. And he takes the tackle. It's only the third. There's some tired defenders for the Magpies trying to get back here. Jack Joas is up in the line. Kaufman, Grant Geese. Geese sees space and puts his head down and goes over for another try. They opened up and Geese took full advantage and extends this score to 30 points to six. He's been one of the their way in this second half in particular. Kaufman got out and he, he entertained the defensive line first and foremost. He just ran enough to be able to keep them interested through the long ball to Geese. They often don't find out who's going to be available to them until later in the week. Given their link with the Melbourne Storm, oh, it's all too easy. And Kaufman celebrates game number 150 with another try. Things getting pretty ugly now for South Logan Salty. They certainly are. They can't uh, wait for their Mad Monday. It's not all that far away, but it's always uh, important, isn't it, to be able to capitalise. Nearly goes through the front rower. He's done that once already this year. He ran 100 metres to, to help set up a try. And out the back to Walker. He kicked the goal to score another try to his long, long tally. The competition's leading point scorer this year, Cody Walker.
The South Logan's players walking. Garbutt, lovely backhand flick to Cody Walker. He'll play with them, Cody Walker, and he'll plunk it down under the sticks. Good. Beautiful footwork, but Garbutt again, using the footwork of his own for a big man, and Cody Walker still has a fair job to do to score this try, and does so right under the goalpost. It's been a big win for the East Tigers over the South Logan Magpies in our final four... Our home and away contest of the season in the Intrust Super Cup. We're off to finals time next week, and it's been a spectacular victory for the home team who qualify third for the finals. 50 points to six, nine tries to one. It was pretty much a cakewalk in the end. Yeah, it was. They just completed their sets in the second half, got their possession back in their favour, and hence the scoreline of 50 points to six. A good effort here by the Tigers.